the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer on Tuesday. You're inside the shift. I'm your girl Aldine. It's Testimony Tuesday up inside here. For the Lord himself is my portion. Mighty God. He lifts my head in glory. For my heart the Lord has exalted. Yes, sir. It teaches me to prosper. This is the day when we've come with I stories come to tell. Testimonies. Where you at? When I talk to somebody, say your life not life ordinary. Is not ordinary. It's a little extra that makes the difference. It's filled with signs and wonders. For the head of the Lord is upon you. It fills mm-hmm. your life with laughter. Yeah. You have come with stories to tell. You have come with to Tuesday, people of God, you're inside the shift, by your girl Aldine. Tuesday, and we do have a story here on today, people of God. I say welcome and thanks for tuning in to Testimony Tuesday. We've connected with one of our sisters, Sister Shani Cole. Glory to God. And this woman, she does have a story to tell people. She's very young, and you know, she got married, and when she got married, she thought she she, you know, she was getting married to an angel because that, you know, the Bible tells us that the devil will come to you like an angel of light. Mighty God, this woman has an experience. So she got married to who she thought was an angel only to find out that who she got married to was the devil in disguise. Mighty God, people of God, her husband tried to kill her. Oh, but for the grace of God, she managed to escape. So we have Sister Shanique 
We have connected with her today to share her story of how the Lord delivered her out of the hand of the enemy. Sister Shani Cole, I want to welcome you to the Shift Your Inside Testimony Tuesday. Just go right on ahead and share your story with our listeners here on today. Thank you, Sister Haldane. It's a great pleasure being here with you today. Of course, it was last year, two years ago of my marriage, I found out I wasn't married to the angel that I thought I wanted, mm. but to the devil. <laughs> of course, it was a warm and welcome feeling to be married at first. Yes. As I said now, two years after, all that, all that torture, all that abuse, all that neglect, all that started to happen. I come to the point where I couldn't take the abuse, I couldn't take the insult or the neglect anymore. I yes. thought I would just kill myself to get rid of it because I was a girl who didn't want to tell family what's going on. I, I, I would always keep my relationship problem to myself. Mm -hmm. So at one point, I said, okay, then you know what? I have this pill, I'm just going to trade him a bottle and drink it and done away with it. So, so you tried to commit suicide? Yes. Mighty I God. Couldn't take, I couldn't take what was happening. Mm -hmm. I really didn't want to share with my family. So I have this friend that knows what was going on. And she was there the night when I cried and I said, you know what, I guess I'm just do take them and just done it and then everything will be over. Mm -hmm. Yes, and she and she said, no, Sean, don't take them. And she ended up dashing them. She backed it out of my hand when I threw the pill in the water. However, still going on, feeling things could turn around. Cried so many times. In promise, oh, well, Shani, it will stop and that will stop and all that. However, each time things like that happen, he start to be abusive. In promise, in all we say, in won't beat again. And I was, I would say, um, afraid. Me, I'm, at one point, that man turned me back to go me home with me 
and his four children. What did he do? He said he would battle boom the house. Oh, he would make a battle bomb? Yes. Oh, mighty God. Yeah. Yes. Whatever going on down, I was still not giving him the option to say, yes, we are going back together. Because you want you wanted to come out of the relationship, you wanted yes, out. At that point, I wanted to come out, and I still didn't want to involve my family. I just wanted to do it off my own. Yes. So I was fearing it. So at one point, when you find out he can't come back here, he call people. He's living in another district from me, and he would call the people in my district and tell them, "Oh, my God, doctor, and doctor, send me out here, and uh, Shani, give me, and we don't have to talk to her. We don't have to, we don't have to." Jesus. Yes, and sister, I just so, say, so, 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 my tell lie upon you because he's yes. now holding you hostage. You want to leave, but he does not want you to leave. So he'll do no. anything in his power for you to stay. Right. Say, Jesus. You can't get you. No other man can have you. Yes. Yes, that was his talk. Then tell everybody, and he was still on my business. That, that, that time I was selling ice cream, and he, he tell people, say, who's not buying ice cream because he has eaten and on a joke? Jesus. So, so that slowed down your business, Sister Shan? Slowed down your business. But, God, and you know, some people take it and run with it while someone just sit down and... And say a nonsense, you matter. Yes. Yes. So but you... that has been so good. I've, I've turned around after all that I've pushed through. I still fight. I never lost my hope. I never lost my faith there. Glory to I God. I still believe that things could have turned it on. I still believe that despite what is going, God never give a man more than he can bear. Yes. I was still... Pushing through, I was still taking the, the insults. I was still taking everything that was coming at me. Mm. Every turn that was thrown at me, I was still taking them. At one point, after threatening me and threatening me, at one night in come and in cut out the current, I was, I was so scared that I give up. I said, you know what? Just to keep my life, I'll go back to him. Yes. Yes, because I, I, I get so scared I didn't know what to do. So I said, all right then, I'll go back to him. Mm -hmm. Call and convince and in cry and in then won't do things again. I said, okay, then no problem. You want us to go back, we'll go back. Yes. At one point, if one sister gets scared because she was the one who helped me to make that decision, mm -hmm. because she was the one who come when when his sister asked him, why you said, look how much woman you have out there? Why a shani? He said, you know, kill. I just shun it no one. Yes, sir. If he, if he if and, can't get you, nobody else can get you. No. And his sister gets so scared that she called me the night and she said to me, um, Shani, there's many ways to hang a dog. And he said, your mouth, your animal, the lion, mouth, you take your time and pull, pull it, it out. Pull it out, yes. And that was what I looked at and I said, you know what, fine. I'll give him him time. And yes, sister, I went back and deal with him. We were still, I end up living back at my house again. Mm -hmm. While he was living at my house for some time, in start again. Several times after start, you know, um, me, this time, I talk him to him and I tell him, listen, this has to stop. If, if I stop, I will have to stop. And he said, if you stop me, I'm going to kill you. Mm -hmm. and, he, and when he said, I'm going to kill you, today, how I went put in that kill, sister Ali, everything shock up in my head. Mm -hmm. Yes, because that's how scared I was. Yes. Um, after that time, he leave again. I'm going, but this time I'm going out. I'm going to him out. Mm -hmm. When he was going out, nothing wasn't working out right. So he had the baby at that time? He took the baby still? The baby was torn from. Okay, so it's like it's a visiting type relationship. Sometimes the baby yes. was with you, sometimes the baby was with him. Yeah, but the thing is, why he was keeping the baby in part, when he kept the baby, the baby would help me know, would have come around. Okay. Yes, that was the reason why he was keeping the baby. When he find out that not happened, like, when he had the baby, no, me not even call him or so forth. At one point, he called me to come see the baby. Me tell him, meet me with the baby. Mm -hmm. I was going to school. I was, <laughs> Oh, God. I was going to school. I was going to evening class at the time. Yes. We keep the baby. Being that he wants us to be in a relationship, we keep the baby from me go class. Mm -hmm. At one point, when keeping the baby and him saying, he asked me to stop over his house that night. But I wouldn't do it because I didn't trust him. And each time he asked me, I will turn him down. I will find excuse to turn him down. And then now, after time, I have to pay the first KCP. 
I'm living with this woman for six years. Mm -hmm. And out of the six years, um, in stop work, shortly after we get married, and the marriage would be like two years out of the six years. So it would be like we married for four years. Mm -hmm. Two years into relationship, four years into marriage. Yes. And if his work stopped, and from there, that man never worked again. So, are you a do all I work? Are you a bring in all I income? I all, and me I do bring all of the income. Me I go school and everything. So, tell me something now, because him threatening to kill you. He did send out some threat that he was going to kill you. Tell us exactly, yes. tell, tell us I what happened. All right. Last year, it was July. I think the 16th of July, 2020. Yes. The 16th. Um, his sister was here from overseas. And him call and say, the sister had some things to the baby, but he said, he's out. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, no problem. He was driving his sister rental. He said, I'll come pick you up and you come pick out what can pick the baby. If you're in that barrel, then we may go pick out where we can pick the baby. Yes, yes. We can pick the baby to the other family. So I said, okay, no problem. My and him never have nothing. We never heard you up for that reason, no reason. So I was just, okay, go in. When we reach the house, when going up the house, me did leave my phone with my son. He asked me, why me leave my phone? He said, me did leave it with, with my son. The first thing he asked me in the car, who know why you come up here? I turned to him and said, like, several people, because me did sell fire where me go, and me did have to call somebody to stay with the other three kids. Yes. Because me did bring the baby. Uh, he said, okay, I'm still drive. And while going up, he wind up the glass then when we are going to his district. Mm -hmm. the glass then. Didn't really have no problem. So, so you, 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 you never feel no way because you never you never know that he was up to anything? No. Mm -hmm. And then, with the one, normally he would have parked the car at the front. He drive the car, but all the way around at the back. I think God. All the way. He drive the car, go around at the back and park it. And we enter through the back door. When we enter there, we lock up the car, we lock up the house. We in the house and drop the suitcase and he start showing me something. But for some reason, after I lock up the place, I was wondering, why you lock up the place? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that, that, for the baby in the house, me in the house, you in the house, why you lock up the place? All right. I'm going to the bathroom and I'm come back. And but that, that time now, my back turned. So it was unexpected when he grabbed me. Yes. He just grabbed me and pushed me down on the bed and said, I me not tell us if me can't have you, nobody else can't have you. Mighty God. When he grab me, I end up pushing him and say, get up off of me. And he say, get up off of you. I kill me, I will kill you in here. Mm -hmm. Nobody can save you, you know. And I'm telling you, that was a dead house. So you know, nobody can even hear me scream. If you cry out. Yes, because it was a room at the back. So nobody can go past my ear. Like that. And... I said, no, me, I go kill you. Mm -hmm. However, the baby still, still sitting in the middle of the bed, I look for it for her. Yes. And how how old was, was the child? At that time, she was four now. At that time, she was, she, she was two plus going three. Yes. And we were there, and the baby watched us. We were wrestling, wrestling. I, I couldn't even manage him to because he was bigger than I am in body and everything. Mm -hmm. Height, everything. So after wrestling, I got tired. And to the point as I was Pump me and pump me and pump. Me just you give like, up. You know what? Me Mighty give up. God. Me just start to delete them without, without trying to help myself. Mm. While he was doing all that, he was there. And he said, kill me and go kill him. Come over me. And he come over me. He will make sure I'm telling you. I couldn't even resist. The only thing I could say, the only thing that comes to my mind at that point was, you call me a dead left me poor feet me. Yes. That was the only thing come to my mind because there was nothing else because him don't plan it. It's like him said to me, may I go kill you. I will make kill you not even me there now find the police now and get me to lock up. That was the, that was the exact word that come out of the man now. Mm -hmm. So at that point, I said, all right, this is it now because him have a child, so if him kill me, just have a drive away car with me and that's it. Yes. I'm telling you, which for the last time I break, when he let go me choose, Yes. And when he let go to the church, he dropped the knife. But he let him have to let me go to go to the dresser where the knife is. Yes. He, he let me go and grab him for the knife. He said, if you ever move, I right left for me, I'll study or kill you. Yes. And I lie down back in, back in the sofa. 
au la la ndo ni na refuopa in komba kwa kama ulinae sana an wasitali nga was so good glory to god so good hallelujah thank you jesus god my baby was here and she turned and she said daddy me ready mhm and just the fact that the baby said daddy me ready him say girl no say a kill me to kill you and him take up the baby and he said i just you know because I kill me to kill you, your mother and I just you may not know what me I'm gonna do with you know. But me just kill your mother and do on with you, you know. Mighty God. Jesus. So you so you're saying if the child never said something then he would have been a dead woman to the shan. Glory to God. You you're there? Yes. Yes, so you're saying to God be the glory. I know you weren't. I, I, I know you weren't. I know you're probably reflecting on things and, and you know, it hurts. Because this is like playing something all over in your head. So, you know, just to re remember everything that happened, it, it, it must be painful. But to God be the glory, great things he has done because you're alive to testify. I know you weren't saved at that time, you know. And then it, it happened just a year ago, so it's fresh. In your mind, mighty God. But you decided to give your life to Jesus Christ. And, and as far as I, I, I know, you know, to my knowledge, you're saying this is what, when you reflect on these things, this is what really pushed you to say yes to Jesus Christ. Can, can you just talk to us briefly ab about that, you know, in, in terms of you just thinking when about the, was, the goodness when, of God? When one year I come and my um my sister Dr. Moore was asking me and saying, Sean, you ready to give your life? I was I was I wasn't quite sure. But then each time I look at it I said, God, you save me for a purpose. Mm -hmm. And the other way from it and say, Lord, if you come through for me, even through the storm that I was going on, I will say, God, if you come through for me, if you take this mind, just this, if you take him out of my way, I will serve you. Yes. Instead, me so rest in peace because that's not that's not the plan of me to have a new one day. Mm -hmm. I, I always said, you don't question God and what happened in life sometimes because God knew what I was going through, and I decided to follow and walk the path of me. I decided to take take that step, mean that I could have died, and my soul go at hell. Mm -hmm. But I've got a chance to repent. Yes. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So, people of God, there we have it. I said, God is indeed an awesome wonder. We thank Sister Shan for sharing her testimony on here today. You're inside the shift. I'm your girl, Aldine, and I'm saying peace out until tomorrow, God's willing. When we meet back up inside here for Worship Wednesday, Keep the faith, somebody. Continue to look unto Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. He's indeed a keeper, and we bless his name.